Happy New Year, fight fans! Today in this video, former UFC featherweight Zabit Magomed Sharapov posted a video on social media showing him working out. And we all had one thought that came to mind. Isn't he coming back to the UFC? Well, let's see what's really going on. And later in the video, we will discuss how it is very unfortunate that Shavkat Rachmanov may be left without an opponent at the January UFC fight night in Las Vegas due to Jeff Neal's injury. Now in the world of MMA, injuries, they're not uncommon, and this can lead to some changes in a fight camp. But maybe this could be better for Shavkat himself and for us, the fans. Because Jeff Neal maybe could be replaced by Hamza Chimaev. Why do we think that? Well, we're gonna get to it. But before we start the video, I wanna thank all of you who helped support our channel during this period with likes and subscriptions. There are already 40,000 of us, and this, as you guys already know, is a small army. So we continue to make new and interesting videos for each of you, so thank you. And again, Happy New Year's to everyone, and may there be peace and prosperity in all of your homes. Now, it is important to note that Shavkat Rachmanov is a highly ranked welterweight, currently ranked 10th in the division. Despite the disappointment of his original opponent, Jeff Neal, who was forced to pull out of the fight due to an injury. Rachmanov had already arrived in the U.S. and began preparing for his fight. After the cancellation was announced, experts started talking about a new opponent for him. British journalist Declan Hill said that Hamza Chimaev could oppose Rachmanov as soon as possible. Well, Jeff Neal is officially out. I heard that Hamza Chimaev is struggling to get a fight. Four fighters apparently turned him down. That's all. Hamza Chimaev versus Shavkat Rachmanov. And that is what Declan Hill posted on social media. Former UFC champion Henry Cejudo believes that the chimaev rachmanov fight is the perfect solution for the UFC. Yes, you want to promote them. I understand that, but this weight category is packed to capacity. Chimaev still needs to be Rachmanov or Colby Covington. So it will be the same. That's why I don't mind seeing Hamzat join in that fight. Besides, he needs a challenge. No one wants to fight him. This tournament will take place in a couple of weeks, and I think it's a great fight, Cejudo said. American Brian Bam Bam Barbarina wanted to fight Rachmanov, offering a catchweight fight. Hey, make them, uh, make them work, even if you do get taken down. That's the key, man. Fucking scramble. Don't stay in that bitch, because you can expect some shit like that. I'll the fuck out of it to your feet, man. The more you're on your feet, then you, you know, the better probability you have of fucking stopping You know what I'm saying? What's your, what's your dream of matching? You know, right? Neil is gone. We used to have to fight on short notice. Nobody wants to fight you. To hell with him, let's go to 180 pounds, said Bam Bam on social media. And Shavkat was not opposed. Why not? Let's do it for the fans. Now, Barbarina later revealed that the UFC had pulled out of that fight. They said that I would not fight Shavkat. I know I deserved it, especially after my last performance. I know that I'm a very dangerous person, and I believe that I could beat Rachmanov and give the fans the fight they want. Hell, I would fight him tomorrow if they wanted to. Former MMA fighter Chael Sonnen said that Kevin Lee could fight Rachmanov. The American fighter left the UFC after several unimpressive performances and a failed doping test, but he could return and still fight Rachmanov. If Kevin Lee is ready to go out and fight Rachmanov while no one else wants it, then there is a chance. I hope he considers this possibility. I think it's an interesting proposal. I don't know if you can come up with a better idea. There will be a tournament in a few weeks, and I doubt that Rachmanov will remain on the list. I just can't imagine which of the militants would agree to intervene and fight Rachmanov with such short notice, Sonnen said. That fight must happen, but Rachmanov has not been the media darling. And I'm here just to ask you, how do we get them together? What do we do? This sport is not about the best versus the best. You've got to be able to match the guy popularity-wise. You don't have to match him on the record. And we've seen this tested. We've seen this tested recently. 170 pounders have been testing this for the last two years. Well, I've won six in a row. Well, I've won seven in a row. Well, I've won eight in a row. None of them got the opportunity. Your record must match your popularity. That's it. If you're a great fighter, then you can get on the Jim Rome show. You got Dan Levitard's number. You pop over here to Chael Sonnen. You'll go sit down with Joe Rogan. You'll call Brendan Shaba. You'll get on Bisping's show. You're going to call Big John and Josh. Those are the voices. So I'm sharing with you your, that, that one can't be great without the other. If you're great, but you haven't convinced the world that you are, then you haven't succeeded. you got to do more. That's the way that works. People don't like that answer. I'm giving you the answer. I don't make the rules. That fight must happen. Now at the moment, it is unclear whether a rival will be found to replace Rachmanov or whether his fight will be postponed to a later date. 
In the meantime, Rachmanov needs to focus on preparations just in case Chimaev and Dana White agree to organize this fight. Now, the UFC is likely to release an update on the situation in the upcoming days, and we hope that, well, finally, we will get to see a fight of two best fighters to finally find out which one of them is better. So what do you think about it? Go ahead and leave your thoughts down in the comments below. Former UFC featherweight fighter Zabit Magomed Sharapov posted a video on social media showing his workout. Nobody forbade maintaining the uniform. Now, a little over three years ago, Zabit had his last fight in the UFC. The career in the promotion was a bright flash in the pan. He reached fourth in the featherweight division rankings, and it seemed that a title shot was only a stone's throw away. But Zabit unexpectedly refused two fights in a row, and then completely disappeared off the radar. The UFC patiently waited for him, and then ended up removing him from the rankings only this past spring. And in the summer, the Russian then announced his retirement. The first call to Zabit's return came from Habib Nurmagomedov. He took some rather high chances for him to enter the octagon saying, we constantly communicate with him, we correspond, we are good friends. But at this particular moment, it has not been discussed with him. I understand this is a personal decision. Will he come back in my opinion? Well, unlike me, he did not promise anything to his mother. He did not give his word to anyone. So I think if you are interested, anything is possible, 50-50. Now, the other day, Zabit himself decided to play with the audience, posting a photo on social media accompanying it with the caption, Contracts are not the same. Of course, they went. Now, if Magomed Sharapov is going to return to the UFC, now is the time. Magomed <laughs> Sharapov, say that five times fast. That guy. Dude, that guy is fucking phenomenal. He's so talented. That was the first time I saw him fight live. And it's, it's a different thing when you see someone live. Like, you see someone in a video and you go, wow, that guy's good. But then you see him live and, you, you know, your brain has like a little computer where it's seen or, you know, you've got, you've got a database, especially me. I've seen so many fights. I have a database of how people move. And then you see that guy moving like, whoa, what are yeah. we looking at here? And that is all for today, everyone. I want to thank you all again for supporting our channel and have a happy new year.